day. My name is Esenatum Fundela, an honor student at the Department of Ichthyology and Fisheries Science. Many fish species typically wander in one area of the ocean. Some, on the other hand, are actual migrants and they travel long distance on a regular basis for either spawning, feeding, or environmental conditions which are more favorable. Today, I am going to tell you about an annual migration of the Sedinops Sagex from the Agalas Bank to Durban and beyond in a natural phenomenon unique to South Africa's East Coast known as the Sardine Run. Why is the Sardine Run important, you ask? Firstly, the, pre the presence of marine predators which are attracted to the shoals to feed boosts ecotourism's economic potential. Recreational activities such as swimming, snorkeling, shark cage diving, and even standing on the shore to observe the predators generates revenue for the country. Secondly, hotels and restaurants benefit firstly through tourists visiting and also wildlife documentary producers spending time recording this incredible story. Finally, sardines are captured by a beach, by beach sand nets by local community in southern KZN. Some of the sketch is eaten by the people and some of it is sold in crates. However, in some years, sardines have not gotten to the KZN South Coast. And this is evident in the absence of their eggs in the water. You can imagine how devastating this must have been for the tourism film and hospitality industries, and especially for the local communities, which depend on the run for food and also for short-term employment that may have to sustain them for the rest of the year. It is clear that predictability of the certain run would benefit a host of stakeholders. So the question lies, what mechanism drives the sudden run and where does my research fit in? Sardine are temporary fish and prefer temperatures below 20 degrees Celsius. The sardine migrates northward by the wild coast, along the wild coast, but when it gets to Pots and Johns, it is funneled in due to the shallowing narrow continental shelf. Past this area is the waterfall bluff, where the, from where the continental shelf narrows considerably. So the Southward flowing, warm, strong Agalas current hugs the continental shelf tightly, making it difficult for the fish to progress northwards past waterfall bluff. While there has been extensive research on the Kizit in Sardine Run, not much research has been done on the progress of these animals past the waterfall bluff. A a, a, a mechanism was proposed in a research in 2010 coined the waterfall bluff gateway hypothesis. And my research aims to prove this hypothesis with the aim of improving the fisheries management and improving predictability for the benefit of all the stakeholders. Thank you.